Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood nerd girl, London, here with something a little different for you guys today. So I kind of wanted to stray a bit from the typical nerd advice that I give you, just so you have time to catch up on your titles, or break away from the monotony. So today, what I'd like to focus on is the information leaks as far as upcoming Marvel projects, and the hypothetical effect that they have on the company and properties itself. On October 31st of this year, we saw the monumental leak of the first Age of Ultron trailer. I was part of the initial wave and saw the leak being shared via social media sites like Twitter or Facebook and even Instagram. There was an immediate sort of frantic nerd frenzy as all of us were racing to watch the video before it was ripped away from us like century ripped carnage in half. I got to view the whole 2 minutes and 30 seconds before a fellow dork that I tried to share it with told me it was taken down and no longer viewable online. What happened next, however, was a rather different outcome than we've seen in the past with media leaks and other franchises. Marvel, rather than telling their millions of fans who weren't around to see it, to essentially be patient and wait until it was actually released, uploaded the teaser trailer and released it to their fans, which only quantifies to me how much Marvel knows that their fans support them. Skip forward to last week when we saw what we presume is a leak of the Yellow Jacket costume from the movie Ant-Man via the movie's book Twitter account, which was immediately uploaded to sites like Screen Rant. What we see is a costume that looks less like a semi space man based costume and a more organic dare I say, tech-savvy looking suit. Coupled out with all the changes up until recently with directors, and we have a general buzz, no guys, I didn't just make a wasp joke, about how the movie will, how, what the movie will be like, and how far, or maybe how not far, um, the movie will stray from the Scott Lang and Hank Pym that we all know and love. Which brings me to my point in general. How much of these leaks are helping create a positive response to upcoming events, and alternatively, how much backlash are we seeing because this is not the way that it was in the comic books, or this looks horrible because it's a family-oriented film, or this would be better if the movie actually followed the timeline. The best way that I can liken this situation to anything would be to compare it to certain specific events in the Mark Miller Civil War timeline. For example, I completely see this situation as being being akin to when Tony Stark convinces Spider-Man to reveal his Peter Parker secret identity, which he ultimately does. There's a pivotal point in Civil War, just like with these media leak influxes, where we can see these clearly defined good and bad. Releasing the information to the public after subsequent leaks only pushed Marvel to actively campaign harder for its Age of Ultron title, of which a newer and extended version of the trailer that had previously leaked to the public was released yesterday on 11.12. If you guys haven't seen that, I will provide a link to that in the comments below, um, just so you guys can see it. But what that means for us as fans is that we get to revel in the precious few minutes that we get a preview into these Paramount blockbusters, which obviously is a win for us because in the past, these links would be pulled in a race like the X gene in decimation. Adversely, it can also lead to public backlash as far as differences between the comic and associated movie titles, being that one does not specifically always follow the other. How many times have we seen fans comment on content, or perhaps even just the way that one character differs from their home within the multiverse? To me, that mindset is our one more day as nerds. We're essentially taking something that was meant to be positive and breaking it down and using it to fuel some kind of misguided rage or hate. Do things differ in the cinematic universe from the comic continuity? Yes, definitely. However, I'd be remiss if I didn't express how picking apart every little incongruity takes away from the base value of these properties. We're essentially gunning down poor Ame every time that we slander something because it's a new take on an old favorite. Also, what does this mean for Marvel as far as securing intellectual property? Does this mean that they will now be more actively patrolling for content leak leakage? Um, will we see those involved on set come under more rigorous security standards and be told that they can't take their electronic devices on set as a preventative measure safeguarding against exposure of any materials until its planned release date? Who knows? 
As one nerd amidst a sea of nerds, I can say that for myself, I'm happy to see Marvel put a positive spin on everything, and that I'm glad that whatever sentiments that people have who are finding problems with the content that they're viewing, that they're not disparaging enough for Marvel to just completely censor these leaks until after the projects are completed and released in theaters. We are in an age where all these amazing things are happening, and we're seeing old characters that we love come to life on the big screen. It's almost like being alive during the golden age of the cinematic universe. I can only hope that in the future, these events will lead to accelerated releases of teaser trailers, as well as allowing us privy to more content, like the costume leak that we saw. One can only hope. Only time will tell. Until next time, remember that with great nerdiness comes great nerd responsibility. Don't forget to com follow my blog as well as like this video and leave your comments or questions below. And if you need any nerd advice, don't forget to email me so I can solve it. Until then, I've been London with The Power of the Dork Side. I'll see you soon.